Y'all already know that Toy Story 4 is great, so why do I even need to do this? I don't know, so I look like I'm on top of things? The animation is great, and the voice acting is great. What else is there to it? Oh right, do the story and characterizations make sense? They do for the most part, and those aspects are the most interesting out of the four to actually discuss. Toy Story 4 is another adventure of friendship, for a lack of a better term moving on, loyalty, and a fear of abandonment and being unloved. So here's the emotional concoction to activate the waterworks. Woody, Buzz, and the core cast of characters from the beginning of Toy Story 2 and onwards return. Despite the seemingly cynical statement I made about the emotional concoction, it was fairly subtle in this installment. I didn't realize that the setup and issue that the movie deals with stems from a typical problem that kids have of having too many toys. It happens and as always, the film goes into the toys' perspectives and all the zaniness that they get into. I think this movie is the funniest of the franchise. I was almost going to say that the lack of balance of character screen time was a downside, but variation is welcome if done well, of course. The main focus is on Woody, Buzz, and the new characters, so if Rex, Jesse, and etc. had more screen time, you would possibly have a lot of clutter. As a choice to only focus on a few characters rather than all of them, it was well executed. However, this brings attention to whether or not the chosen character's motivations make sense. Let's just say that I didn't really believe Woody's capacity to forgive. Maybe it was me manifesting Manifesting my emotions and feelings onto his character because as a naturally self-interested person, I thought that it was odd. Woody has grown as a character beginning from being a selfish and jealous toy in the first movie to being a compassionate one who refuses to leave others behind. Putting the previous films in perspective, these character choices in this movie make sense. His sacrifice isn't made out to be a big deal and it's glossed over. At first, I thought that it was lazy. But but if the point was that there were bigger fish to fry, then I'll accept it. The story and pacing felt a little all over the place in this installment compared to the previous ones, because those had one thing in mind, which was that the toys need to return to Andy after getting to whatever predicament. Because the audience's bond and understanding with Andy over the 15 years of the first three films represented how some grew up with these toys and their plight. This understanding is not as concrete when it comes to bond Bonnie in this fourth film. We're not attached to Bonnie as much as we are to Andy. These toys risk their existence over three films for him, so getting a new person allows this story and its beats in the fourth film to deviate. This is why I thought that this film was a little off, but it was in a good way. The theme can be summed up in two words. Moving on. Ah, the music. Randy Newman. He has such a distinctive voice. And yes, you've got a friend in me. Makes a return. But there's another song. I can't let you throw yourself away. And it's catchy, like a lot of his general songwriting. Of course, Pixar did a phenomenal job in continuing the story of Woody, Buzz, and company by hitting the right emotional notes and amping up the action and comedy. Sentimentality doesn't need to sell a film, but evolving what it's supposed to be keeps a franchise going. It defies expectations by taking a different approach than from previous installments. Newcomers and returning viewers will heavily enjoy this film, especially because it's funny and it adds the emotion where it needs it to tell a truthful and grounded story.